All right, guys, welcome back. So finally, I am back out here on the sound in my compass, my 2021 compass. It's been about three weeks. I haven't been fishing too much. It's been a hot summer, as you all know. It's finally starting to cool down, but I'm just happy I can get out here now. So I'm gonna be fishing some slightly different stuff today. I'm looking for fluke, and I'm trying this area that I haven't really tried in a long time. It's really what we're looking for. We're looking for fluke, even though it's super hot, it's mid-August. Looks like a really nice day. Very calm winds. You know, I could have gone out further to try a wreck, but I wanna give this a try. I haven't done this in a while, so. Let's try fluke on bouldery ledges. So I'm not at my spot yet, but as you can see there, I got, you know, I'm at the early part of the ledge where I want to try and I'm seeing some bait, some life. So I'm going to throw this little peanut bunker metal down to the bottom and just jig it. And why you might ask? Because that has nothing to do with fluke really. And you're right, but I'm trying to get a gauge on wh what's down there. <laughs> sure enough, there's fluke. So that is a very good sign. Fluke hitting metal. We are in business. That was literally the first drop. And I'm not even at the, the area where I was thinking to go. There's a lot of bait down there. You see that? I'll put it on the big screen. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is a nice, nice sight. Oh, see? That could have been a nice fish, but it's hard to hook. So I am gonna switch to nice porgy. I do want to keep fish, so I'm gonna keep a poor gear too. You know, we'll wait for the true jumbos. So I'm always seeing a lot of marks at the at the base of this ledge. You can see that. I think I think it's porgies though. I think I'm tying on a quarter ounce jig head. This is probably a quarter ounce. Pretty light. Probably not gonna use huge bait presentations because I see a lot of bait in the water that is uh, seemingly small. So I'm just gonna start with this uh, pink shine, four inch grub. See how wrecked we get by porgies. Pretty sure we're gonna get pretty wrecked. So many like little fish around. Feels like a sea robin. We'll keep bigger ones. Oof. Somebody came up and grabbed it. Feels like another robin.
There's a lot of life down there. Could be a fluke. Feels a little heavier. It's a nice fluke. Is it netable? Definitely gonna measure him. Nah, he's, he's probably gonna be a little short. Oof. Oh, talk about close. It's like 18, 18 and a quarter. It's all right, good, good sign. Trying to catch one in all these porgies. I mean, look at all these porgies. This is crazy. Catching fish. That may not be a porgy. I don't think that's a porgy or a foul hooked sea robin. It's fighting very strange. Yeah, foul hooked sea robin. Keep him. It's a good eating size right there. Yeah, that's a fluke. Nice. It's a good amount of fluke here. This one doesn't feel that heavy again. Take that gold back though, bud. Thank you. Beautiful little specimen. Man, where are those fish? It's gotta be porgies. It's so hard to leave this area. I feel like I need to. It's crazy marks. Nothing big, but there's just a lot. I do want to check out the spot that I intended. I don't think there's like schools of fluke either. I think it's more like, you know, a couple here and there on the ledge. So once you catch, once you catch a couple, I think it's better actually to move. Try to find another couple that are Guarding another area. Whoa. That's a good hit. That's another fluke. guys what he looks like so you have a reference to 
17 and a half. It's good. There's a lot of fluke here. I'm going to get into some seltzer already. This is called Waterloo Sparkling Water. I got a couple of seltzers, so we're going to start early. It's pretty good. I don't know if it tastes like any different than just black cherry seltzer. I don't know what sparkling water, if there's a difference, but... But I gave that spot, let's see, what time is it? 7.41. Yeah, I gave that spot an hour. So, I think that's enough. Let's see what else is out there. Let's go look at what this is. Looks like a little school of bait. I guess it's just bunker. Yeah, it's just bunker. Oh. They were just scared of my bait though. Let's see if there's anything lurking underneath the school. Oh yeah, there is. Oh yeah. That was not my lure. All right, we're not really bass fishing today, so I don't care too much. I keep seeing massive schools of bait. Look at this, I mean, some kind of fish is picking that bait ball apart. I think it's always worth bait balls to like, give them a shot even if we're out in the middle of nowhere you know if bait is balled up like that it usually means they're getting preyed on there we go yeah it's a fluke They're really holding this, uh, they're holding a depth. It's 20, it's like 22 feet is the magic, magic number. See these marks? That looks interesting. Oh man. Oh, yeah, that was a thump. Come on. Definitely a fluke here. Get that sharp thump. Boom. That's a sea robin. First one was a fluke, I swear. Quite a bit of action on this ledge. Ah, gulp is gone. All right, so we're sticking with a small profile, but I switched to a jerk shad. And the reason is it's just mostly the drift speed. It's just so slow. So I'm doing, since I'm doing a lot more casting. I feel like I'm getting a lot more porgy bites with the jerk shed now. So many baits I could try right now. That's <laughs> yeah, a sea robin. 
Thank you. This is just getting destroyed by porgies. These were working, so let's get back to it. It's porgies. Big porgy. Keep him. I mean, I'm almost positive that's bait. What else could it be? Jellyfish? I'm gonna switch to a bucktail. I am drifting pretty, pretty good. So I kind of want to take advantage of like that, get a fluke. That looks so good. Pretty good nice sized porgy on plain bucktail. Yeah. Should help give it some scent. Oh, PB and J. Could be a fluke. Yeah, it's a fluke. Just as I was trying to eat my PB and J. Oh. All right, I'll get 
good to go. Beauty. Just a very tiny piece of gold. I forgot triple decker. Hmm. Nice look. Oh yeah, definitely a fluke. Mm. Oh. Not happy about being caught. Oh. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Another 18. Right. Too close. So close, but too close. It's been a good day, though, for Fluke. I mean, I caught up caught a bunch I am, I am happy with that oh, as soon as I dropped nice easy release I'll keep him though Decent porgs. We're at the fillet. Big porgy. Oh man. Jumbo. Oh. That's a big porgy. Definitely keep him. They're powerful. Guess is he's 14 and a half to 15. 
Oh no. I don't know how I came on loose. It'll pop up here somewhere though. See, all I got is a bucktail with, uh, you know, this is like a piece of gulp that I just slit, sliced down because it was too big. So I just had like a, so I'm using like gulp as a, as like a trailer. I'm gonna stand now so I can find that porgy. Oh, there he is. Good thing I started bleeding him out right away. Otherwise, I would have lost him. You know, it seems crazy to hook it like this, but when you don't have much room to hook it, you're actually getting more of the grub by doing this, I think. It looks silly as all, but I think it can work. Let's put it into practice. Oh, immediately. What is that? That's oh, a porgy. Oh. <laughs> rip and drag it's probably another jumbo 14 15 er <laughs> oh yeah there's some serious structure on the side there no wonder oh big porky again oh him and that's it as far as poor geeks go anyway oh man there's a ton of porkies down here just instantly Catch him, no gulp. Oh, on the snap jig. Porgy's on the snap jig. Bear bucktail. Try like a 11 or 12, probably like a 12 inch porgy. In this bucked out right now. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh. oh man. Oh. Oh. 
dang. <laughs> oh. oh, look at the size of that thing. All right, maybe I'll keep him too. I know. I saw one of my buddies at the launch. Uh, I'm sure he would take, he would take one. <laughs> as soon as I sat down. Big porgy. <laughs> oh, he stuck me. I'll try this thing again. It worked actually pretty good. So you see, this thing doesn't really, it's got too much, too much body. So I'm just gonna cut the belly. Just like that. I think I want to be a little deeper. Just gets very, very rocky as you get closer, which is good and bad. Good, because there's fish there, but bad because they're mostly porgies. So I kind of want to try the deeper part of the gradual ledge that is less bouldery at first, and then let the wind push me in to the boulders. Is that it's not a porgy could be a fluke it is a fluke oh, what did he sp what did he spit up we will never know Catch it, but yeah, calm down, calm down. You ever feel that where they like feel like they're vibrating, like their muscles are spazzing out? I just wonder what causes that. All right. Oof. All right. So I'm finding fluke where I thought they would be. So, I'm gonna go back over that. Strip, strip gulp. Probably should have brought some squid or if I would have been able to snag that bunker earlier. I would have uh, bunker stripped it up. I wanna go back over where I caught that guy at least one more time. Very fast drift. Fast drift is, is good. Or I should say, not fast drift, it's fast current. Fast current is good. That's a chunky bottom. Look at that. Really nice chunky bottom. That's what I like, you know? It's a three, checks it off. It's, you got a ledge, you got boulders, and you got current. That's all you need to find fluke, really anything, porgies. Oh, that was a big porgy. Stripers, sea bass. Sea bass is the same thing, except it just has to be deeper.
That's a good porgy. It's all right. I still have my bait. Look at this screen I'm dealing with. Like, it's crazy. A lot of life out here today, but you know, it's just a challenge finding keeper fluke, which it always has been. Always has been. That's a big robin. Oh, I can't even get him off the bottom. That is a big robin. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm definitely keeping him. That is a big robin. 17 incher, 17 and a half. Sea robin or a fluke. Could be a fluke. Yeah, I think this is a fluke. Yeah, it's a decent fluke. Oh. Oh boy. No. Oh, I just spit up something. Oh, so bad. <laughs> it's gonna be close. I think this guy might be 18 and three quarters. Not ideal. Oh boy. All right, I know this is dangerous, but I need to get a good measurement on this one. See, he's going to be very close. Oh, yeah. Closed. Almost 19. It's 18 and three quarters. <laughs> I literally caught that. Whew. Stupid stringer broke. Cooler is stuffed. <clears throat> All right, so I'm resetting the drift. Yeah, that's what caught that keeper. This is a three eighths ounce. Um, this is a three eighths ounce jig from John Padawano, and. Yeah, it's very well made. I like this little tinsel in there too with the reflective. And I just have an old uh, gulp jerk shed that was bitten off there for scent. And it really does work. You don't need, I'm starting to realize that you just don't need a whole lot. You just, you do kind of just need the gulp for the scent. As long as the current's moving, I think it's really more a factor of like, they decide to bite when the current's moving a certain way and then that's it then they stop oh man i really do have like a perfect drift going i'm drifting like this way and the current's going this way 
So, I mean, it's almost perfect. Oh, and the speed is at 0 0.8, 0 0.8 miles an hour, which I think is just perfect. I don't know what that is in knots, maybe like one knot. It's perfect. It's pretty much the same speed as the currents. Oh. Giant porky. I got plenty of meat now though, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be keeping anything else. Ooh, a sea bass. Nice. What are you doing in 17 and a half feet of water? Oh, wow, look at that boulder. That's why. Beauty. Probably like 10 inches. I'm gonna, sh I'm actually gonna strip a porgy. <laughs> No, that sounds crazy. All right, let's start with this strip of porgy. Oh yeah, definitely a fluke. Ho ho ho. I don't think it's a keeper. Oh yeah, they want the porgy. See that? Oh, goodbye. Gotta go soon, but just wanna try this a couple more times. Fluke just loves strip baits. That to me is the best way to avoid tail biters. Porgies are not gonna, they're not gonna eat their own flesh too quickly. They probably would if it was a frenzy or whatever, but. I, I find you're not going to get a ton of porgy bites on the on the fish strips. Unfortunately, I got a boogie. All right, guys, that's it. Headed back. It's a good day, it really was. A lot of action out here, more than I thought, really. It, but I think a big part of that is just the amount of bait that I saw. I mean, I marked bait constantly today, and as long as I was near that ledge. I was marking stuff, so yeah, it ended up being pretty good. Did get a keeper, and I'm very thankful for that. You know, he's barely a keeper, but he's still a keeper for 2022, so I'll take him. Haven't had fluke in a while. I guess the, you know, really any bait was working. It was just as usual, and I'm, I'm sure many of you guys uh, encounter. It's just, you know, what what is the best presentation that won't get bit by the porgies? I think that really is like the strip bait. Gulp, Gulp definitely gets the most hits. And if you start using like other soft, soft plastics, uh, the bite just, you know, it's not the same. But the, the, the keeper was caught with like a piece of Gulp on that bucktail. I don't fish with bucktails that much as I just don't think uh, it's all that necessary. You know, you can still get a good amount of bites with just plain jig heads and they're a lot cheaper. But if you're fishing an area that you know you're not really gonna get hung up too much and snagged, uh, you know, a good quality bucktail is uh, it's pretty fun and pretty effective. It's nice to get out on a day that uh, 
it wasn't too hot. As always, thanks for tuning in and watching, and uh, yeah, see you on the next one.